Welcome to the City Skyline Challenge. It's a fundraising event for Outward Bound California, raising funds for our uh, programs that benefit low-income students across the state. It was such a good time, I couldn't resist the invitation. But it's for a good cause. I'm a big fan of Outward Bound. We have 130 repellers um, that have each fundraised $1,600 to support Outward Bound scholarships. And then they go up to the top and then repel 230 feet down the street level. Two-thirds of Outward Bound California students receive some sort of scholarship or tuition support. Our open enrollment courses in the High Sierra and Joshua Tree and in the Bay are all tuition-based, and so the scholarship support help individual students. Outward Bound California changes lives through challenge and discovery. Outward Bound California is really working hard to expand our programs over the next few years to the southern part of the state as well as the Central Valley. We also have our Bay Area programming that's all group programming with local schools and organizations. And those programs are completely free to students, and the school just contributes some amount of money, and our scholarships and fundraising uh, covers the rest. Come on! It's great. Glad to be out here. Thank you, Outward Bound. This is my second year being a part of the Outward Bound City Skyline Challenge. What an incredible organization Outward Bound is and how this is raising money for kids who wouldn't be able to do something like this without that scholarship money. I was able to bring my family with me this year as well. My wife and my mom did it too. My mom has never done anything like this in her life. And they just heard about what a great time I had last year. And they just said, you know what? We're scared to death of jumping off a building, but you did it last year. We're coming with you. We're all going to do it. We're going to conquer our fears. We're going to challenge ourselves because that's what Outward Bound is all about. You know, you want a reason to go out there and motivate yourself to go over the edge. Then this is definitely the reason to do it. Outward Bound is definitely it. Well, you know, as a double amputee, uh, being one in combat, I didn't think I could do the things that I was able to do back in the day. Did Outward Bound in Joshua Tree last year, so I'm an alumni. You know, I, I came back with an extra fire in my heart, and I came out, and I, I, I've been able to complete those goals, and I look forward to the future with confidence because I know I, I'm able to complete it. So many of the people who repel today say that they kind of experience what our students must feel on Outward Bound courses, feeling challenged and being brought into something they weren't expecting. For more information, you can visit cityskylinechallenge.org or go to our website at outwardboundcalifornia.org. Bound focuses heavily on life skills wrapped up in the disguise of outdoor skills. Expanding the comfort zones, about challenging ourselves, by continuously growing as individuals with compassion. Teaches them how to connect with other people, how to find their personal limits, and also that they can live simply. The wilderness has something where it kind of brings something out in people. I definitely see a lot of shift in students where they feel like they can be a more kind of genuine part of themselves and, and show more of themselves to people. Everything is there uh, to serve the purpose of the, like human development. There are certain life skills that just being good at math or English <laughs> don't teach you. Jumping into lakes out in the mountains, climbing up peaks, going rock climbing in some of the most beautiful places on earth. And through these experiences, through these challenges, Students can't help but come out learning new things about themselves, about their group, and about the world around them. The concept of doing everything to your best of your ability is something that can really be taken home and put into almost everything you do. Knowing that I don't need all those clothes in my closet and all that food in my refrigerator, um, like I've been out here and are surviving on just like one or two t-shirts, it was good to see myself overcoming my fears and like pushing myself out of that comfort zone. You really have time to take in nature and appreciate it. 
and uh, look at the mountains, look at the landscape, and just think about the future. And it, just the silence helps you think. By the end, you feel like you can actually operate on your own. In the beginning, you're like, the instructors are kind of guiding you around. But in finals, you know, we're doing everything on our own. And it almost took me a second to realize, like, there's no instructor, but yet we're cooking, we're getting tarps set up, people are getting to bed on time. You know, it's like we become a lot more resourceful and independent and really strong. It's pretty life-changing. I think, I can't really reflect on all of it now, but I think in a week, in a couple weeks, in a month, when I get back into the the real world, I'll realize how much it sort of affected me, and I'm really looking forward to that. Just be ready to welcome all those new experiences because they'll shape you and develop you such that by the end of the two weeks, you're a different person. Physically, mentally, emotionally, everything. I can do anything that I put my mind to it, you know? There's nothing too difficult. Regardless of how it seems in your beginning, how high the peak feels like, you can get to the top if you want to.